everybody, it's me, Luna TK, and today I am back with another miraculous reaction. Today, I'm uh, backtracking a little bit and um, going back and watching Psycho Median. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Psycho Median? Because, yeah, they hadn't had this available when I was kind of going in chronological order, so. Now I have to take a step back because this was released a short while ago. So I'm going to watch this one and then we're going to move on, continue with the chronological order. So, Psychomedian. That sounds like, like, I don't know, like something like supernatural, right? Like they got like psychic powers and they're a, a medium, you know, like... I don't know, like I'm thinking like somebody who has like maybe like a magician or like somebody like a psychic medium, you know, like maybe they have a crystal ball or something and maybe somebody doesn't believe in them. And so then they get akumatized and their their crystal ball thing gets the akuma in it. And then they I don't know, maybe they trap people inside their crystal ball. I, I have some really good guesses on this one. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. <laughs> That's my guess. Um, yeah, I'm guessing that it is a, a medium of some sort, some sort of person with psychic powers, they have a crystal ball, somebody says they don't believe in them, probably Chloe, and then they get akumatized, and then their crystal ball, they capture people inside their crystal ball. I don't know, but <laughs> that's my guess. <laughs> uh, people said that this is kind of a filler episode, but that I'll still enjoy it, so I'm looking forward to watching it. I guess there's really only one way to find out what happens in this episode, and that is to watch it. So, without further ado, let's get to it. get together we better get a name for this hamster because this is the longest running joke in this series is the name of the hamster never gets said so yeah wait was he laughing at marinette <laughs> he was he was already laughing at you girl <laughs> yeah, okay. Because he's psychic. <laughs> oh, jeez. Just be yourself. 
girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody. Aww. Aww. That's gonna be the object that gets kumatized. His voice sounds deeper here. Creepy as a superhero villain. Neither do I, Cat Noir. That's creepy. She's apparently very good at makeup. What just happened? Oh, she's... Oh! Oh, he caught her. For once, he actually has to be the one to save her. to work. <laughs> Why does it have to have bugs? There it is. <laughs> I 
mad. She's still mad. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> supposed to be like he's psycho comedian he's a psycho comedian I get it now I was completely off I was so proud of that prediction in the beginning too I had thought I had it down and apparently I was totally wrong <laughs> interestingly enough I wonder if um if this comedian was based off of anybody like in person because it seems like a lot of times like some of the new character models that come in tend to be based off of somebody in real life so uh is was this guy based off of like a real comedian? Let me know. But yeah, so this was cute. So it just, it was an, it, um, it definitely was a filler, but it was very cute and it was funny. <laughs> I, an, an angry ladybug. Perfection. Perfection. I love it. It's so funny. Get lost, the butterfly. That got me. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. <laughs> I can't. That was hysterical. This episode yet again proves, however, that like Marinette does not know how to be herself around Adrian, but like when she's her true self, like he really likes and enjoys her true self. He thinks she's funny, he thinks she's nice. Like the sad thing is, is she thinks she needs to do all these crazy things, get him gifts, do all these like wild things, and, and she doesn't. She doesn't need to constantly be giving him gifts, she doesn't need to be going around trying to make jokes that aren't hers and trying to make him laugh by being somebody else. You know, she's constantly trying to be something she's not and that's why she runs into this issue of, of not knowing what to say to him. Like, she just doesn't know, like, if she were just her, like, true self, she'd have such an easier time talking to him. But she overthinks it and then she ends up in these awkward situations that she puts herself in. I just... <laughs> Adrian is so patient with her like he's so like adorable in the fact that like he doesn't think much of her awkwardness like he really doesn't like she's so awkward around him but he just doesn't pay any mind to it he likes her just the way she is like it's really sweet I'm trying to think like when what it would have been like if I watched this like in order like if, if this had come out and I had been able to watch it like right after watching episode four. Like I forgot what happened at the episode episode four, end of episode four. Like was that whole scene like in the car? Like when was it? I feel like it was kind of in the beginning of the season when they were talking in the car and stuff. Maybe chronologically it followed that nicely, but um, I don't know. 
I like the fact that in this episode, it was Cat Noir really kind of doing more of the saving this time. Like, that he was the one for, for, for the first time, like, I feel like ever. He's always the one that normally gets hit by the attacks. But this time, it was Ladybug. So this time, he kind of had to step up to the plate and, and think about, like, what had to be done next. Like, it, so he had to, like, look around and, and come up with his own plan for how to use the, the lucky charm. Um, which is interesting, like, is there a reason behind needing to paint it red and black? Like, is there a reason? Because, like, he sat there, though. Uh, in real life, just saying, that little thing of nail polish would not have gone over that whole thing. Like, definitely not. Like, it would have not been enough paint to, to cover that whole thing. But, uh, cartoon logic, I guess. Also, it would not have taken that quickly. It would have been, it would have taken a lot longer than that. But yeah. Is there like a reason why it needs to be red with black polka dots? Like does the Lucky Charm have to be specifically red and black? I guess I never really thought about that. But it wasn't the, like I don't know what the color has to do with it. I think feel like they could have just done it regardless, but hmm, interesting. I think that's really it. Like this, is, this was a pretty standard episode. Like I wish I had more thoughts, but this is, it, it was a cute episode. Like, I really, I really do, I do, really do like it. Um, it's kind of like a weird backwards thing for me because I'm going back and watching like a filler episode after watching the last couple episodes that I watched. So, which have been crazy because now I'm in the second half of the season. This was part of the first half of the season, so things are much more calm and mild. Now we're in the crazy part of the season. So, I guess I'll just leave it short today, and we'll talk more about it in the comments and in the premiere what did you guys think of this episode um in terms of like what, what were your, some of your favorite parts definitely my favorite part of it was the get lost little butterfly <laughs> oh it was so funny <laughs> that was my favorite part i i will quote that at some point because it's awesome it's awesome it's possum yes um I love that. That was my favorite part. What was your favorite part? Let me know what you think about the whole Lucky Charm thing and why it had to be red and black and yeah. Until next time, my name is Luna TK and I hope you guys have a awesome day. Bye! Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's plenty of ways to show it. You can give me a like, a comment, subscribe, or ring the bell for notifications. You can also follow me at LunaT93 for updates, and you can check out previous content right there. Until next time, bye!